Uh, I think it was tremendous. I think uh, it was a great group of guys. Uh, we did a great job competing. Um, I think I did a great job individually, um, just putting my best foot forward. Uh, I think it's my sixth workout. Um, so I just want to continue to stay even keel and just continue uh, to, to do the best I can every day. How do the workouts differ, or are they all, they are, all, they, are they all kind of similar? They're all pretty similar. Um, it's not too much of the game of basketball that you can trick out. Um, it's one-on-one, -on -one, uh, two-on-two, three-on-three. Um, just being able to create your own, being able to create for others, being able to play smart basketball, move without the basketball. And uh, I think I did a great job. I was prepared. Montrose Christian, you know, like and I think I was very prepared and uh, unfortunate to be in this situation. I know Steve Blake coached you a little bit. Probably not bad to have a have a little mole on the inside. I know he likes it. Yeah, yeah, Steve's he's great, man. It, and uh, he's somebody I, I kind of looked up to because he coached me at the NBA Top 100. And then he was someone that I kind of looked up to uh, when I grew up. My dad was a big Maryland Terps fan, uh, and, and I ended up committing to Maryland um, before Coach Williams retired, who he played for. So we had that connection through Coach Williams. I got to talk to him a lot. He's tremendous. He's a great role model. I know it's talked about a lot. You got a NBA ready body, obviously got a lot of strength, good defender. Are you trying to show teams that there's some offense there as well? I mean, we know you shot it well last year. Yeah, you know, one of the things that I say is tough because you, you have to come in every day, every workout and prove that you can really shoot the ball. And uh, I don't want to jinx myself, but I've been doing a phenomenal job with that throughout this, uh, this process at the beginning. Uh, and I just have to make sure I just continue to put my best foot forward. Um, but it's, it's kind of insane. You have to start all over again every workout that you go to. Uh, teams don't know yet if you can really stroke it. So you got one chance. And if, uh, if you do a great job, then they'll consider you. If not, I feel like they'll write you off. So um, I just want to continue to stay even kill and just continue to work. Most mock drafts have you going about where Portland has their pick. Um, when you come to a place like this and you wear the gear, do you kind of start envisioning yourself what it would be like to be a, a Blazer in this case? Yeah, I mean, I, I, every place that I've been, um, I put myself in a mindset that I, this is not a tryout. This is uh, practice. This is uh, your first time with your coach. And, uh, you know, your, your, your first impression is a lasting impression. Um, so what I want to do is I want to I carry it like I am for the, for the Blazers, or I was with Boston, or I was with Toronto, or L.A., or uh, San Antonio, or whoever I may be. Um, I kind of lock in, and I put myself in practice mode, and I try to compete. And, uh, and try to, like I said, just continue to put my best foot forward. Thanks, man. Good luck to you. Thank you.